What's up guys, my name is Brandon, you guys can call me Swifters, and welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video here on my channel. Today I am coming at you guys with a super exciting video because in today's video we're going to be taking a look at 5 things that were removed from Fortnite. Now as you guys know, earlier this morning we received a pretty substantial update here in Fortnite. It introduced a couple of brand new items into the game and it actually removed a ton of fan favorite weapons and other things from Fortnite. We're going to be going ahead and getting in to all of that in just a second but first and foremost I wanted to go ahead and apologize for not uploading any videos over this past week I've had a ton going on and I've actually been studying really hard for the law school admissions test because I'm actually trying to go to law school in fall of 2019 so this past week I was studying my butt off to take that test this previous weekend but the test is over I get my scores back in just a couple of weeks but for now we are back at to the Fortnite and a YouTube video grind but of course, before we actually go ahead and get started with today's video, I wanted to go ahead and give a massive, massive shout out to everyone that you guys see on screen right now because all of these people used my supporter creator code. So if you guys would like a shout out in an upcoming video of mine, make sure that you guys go ahead and head over to the item shop and input on my supporter creator code, which is just Swifters. Take a picture of you guys using my code to buy skins or anything else in the item shop and tweet it to me over on Twitter. The link to my Twitter can be found in the description below. But with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with today's video, taking a look at five things that were removed from Fortnite. Alrighty guys, so to go ahead and get started with today's video, the very first thing that was removed from Fortnite earlier this morning with today's update is a thing I am so happy is finally gone from Fortnite Battle Royale. This is the Ice Legion. Now as you guys know, the Ice Legion were monsters available in Fortnite Battle Royale for us to kill and I don't know about you guys, I absolutely hated them. They were very similar to those of the Fortnite Mirrors monsters, which came to Fortnite back in October during the second annual Fortnite Mirrors event. And basically, the Ice Legion and even the monsters back in the Fortnite Mirrors event, I guess were somewhat integral to the overall Fortnite Battle Royale storyline, especially here in Season 7. As you guys know, there's a huge underlying storyline with the Ice King and whatever the heck is going on at a Polar Peak. So the fact that we had these Ice Legion monsters added into Fortnite was, again, as I said, a little bit integral to our overall storyline but I could not tell you how happy I am to finally have these things gone and removed from Fortnite. I think that they are arguably one of the worst additions to ever come to Fortnite Battle Royale. They are so annoying and I just truly think that it disrupts the overall gameplay of Fortnite. So I don't know about you guys but I am so so happy that all of the Ice Legion is now officially gone from Fortnite and as I said I could not be more happy. So moving on to the next thing that was removed from Fortnite, this is actually one of many weapons that for some strange reason Epic Games decided to vault from the game, the first of which being the SMG. Now I don't know about you guys, but when it came to choosing between either a blue SMG or a gold P90, every single time I always chose the blue SMG. That was by far the best SMG in Fortnite and I honestly have no idea what the heck is going on on over at Epic Games and who decided that it was a good idea to remove the blue SMG. Again, this is something that Epic Games decided to remove and vault from Fortnite earlier this morning with today's 7.30 patch update. And again, I'm super, super bummed and pretty upset about that just because the other SMGs in Fortnite really aren't all that good. Rather than keeping the blue SMG and really every other gray or green SMG in Fortnite, what they actually did was, as I said, they vaulted it and they reintroduced the silenced SMG back into Fortnite. Again, I would much rather prefer for the non-silenced version of those SMGs because having a silencer on a weapon kind of makes it a little bit more inaccurate. So the fact that the SMGs are now removed from Fortnite, in my opinion, was a pretty bad decision on Epic Games' part. Moving on to the next thing that was removed from Fortnite. This is actually another weapon that for some strange reason Epic Games decided to vault. This is the FAMAS or the Epic and Legendary Burst. 
Now, personally, when it comes to choosing between a purple or gold FAMAS or a regular blue rifle, I would most likely prefer to use the blue rifle just because the automatic rifles fit my playstyle a little bit more than the burst rifles, even though the burst rifles have a ton more damage. Personally, I like using rifles, so the fact that the FAMAS is now gone from Fortnite really isn't all that interesting to me, and it really doesn't impact or affect me all that much. At the same time, I know a ton of people really, really enjoyed it using either the purple or the gold FAMAS, so the fact that it's removed and no longer in the game is a little bit surprising, just because I feel like that weapon really wasn't all that overpowered. It was super balanced, and it definitely allowed us players to really focus on which weapon we wanted to use, whether it was a SCAR, a Silent Scar or a Burst Rifle. On top of that, the Burst Rifle wasn't a fairly new weapon. It was a weapon that was added into Fortnite a couple of months ago, I believe sometime over the summer. So it's obviously not an old weapon, and the fact that Epic Games for some reason decided to take it out without anyone from the community really voicing concerns about not liking the FAMAS, I just think is a little bit weird. Moving on to the fourth thing that has been removed from Fortnite earlier this morning, like the two previous things, this is actually a brand new weapon that Epic Games, for some godforsaken reason, decided to vault. Unfortunately, it looks like the heavy shotgun was removed and vaulted from Fortnite. This is something that I really have no idea why they did. Honestly, in regard to everything in today's video, aside from the Ice Legion monsters, I have zero clue why Epic Games has decided to remove all of these things, but as I said, the heavy shotgun is now no longer in Fortnite. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I loved the heavy shotgun. It was a super, super fun and pretty versatile weapon to use. It was a pretty high damage dealing weapon if you guys used it at close quarters, and it actually had a little bit of close to medium range added. It was by far one of the farthest shooting shotguns in Fortnite, and obviously there were only two variations being the epic and the legendary versions, and honestly, whenever it came to choosing between a blue pump or a purple or gold heavy shotgun, you always got to go with the purple or gold heavy shotgun, but I guess I could kind of understand why Epic Games decided to remove the heavy shotgun from Fortnite, just because as you guys know, not too long ago, we actually got both Epic and Legendary variations of the pump shotgun in Fortnite, and obviously the gold pump shotgun is by far the best shotgun in Fortnite, so I guess maybe the statistics on the back end over at Epic Games were showing or displaying that people really weren't using the heavy shotgun all that much anymore, and for some reason they decided it to take it out, vault it, and remove it from Fortnite. It's also very possible that the removal of the heavy shotgun actually signals that we may be getting some sort of other shotgun added into Fortnite, but of course, we're gonna have to go in and wait and see exactly what Epic Games decides to do in regard to adding any new weapons into Fortnite. So moving on to the fifth and final thing that has been removed from Fortnite earlier this morning with the patch of volume 7.3 update, this one hurts. This one hit me in the heart and I think the overwhelming majority of people in the Fortnite community are pretty pissed, they're pretty upset, and they are so confused as to why Epic Games decided it to remove and vault this last weapon in today's video. This is the Bolt Action Sniper. Now, the Bolt Action Sniper is such a staple in Fortnite Battle Royale. This is one of the OG weapons. This is a weapon that was first in the game back when it came out in September of 2017. So the fact that all versions of the Bolt Sniper or the regular Bolt Sniper are no longer in Fortnite is just a little bit shocking and a little bit depressing. Obviously, not too long ago, we actually had a different variation of the Bolt Action Sniper being the Silent Sniper, but I don't know about you guys, I really do not like using the Silent Sniper. I would much prefer to use a non-silenced version of the regular Bolt Action Sniper, but overall, compared to the Bolt Action Sniper and the Heavy Sniper in Fortnite, I much do prefer for using the heavy sniper as it does have a ton of damage at the same time a lot of people love using the bolt action sniper because it allows you guys to get some pretty significant damage on an enemy contingent upon you using a legendary or even an epic version at the same time you guys can reload a lot quicker than the heavy sniper but the fact that epic games decided it to remove and vault the bolt action sniper is a little bit sad considering as i said it is such a staple within the fortnite community because it was one of the og fortnite weapons to be in fortnite battle royale when the game first came out
So guys, there you have it. Those were five things that were removed from Fortnite with today's patch of volume 7.3 update. Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and your feedback regarding the removal and the vaulting of a lot of these items in the comment section below. As I said earlier, we're back to the Fortnite and a YouTube video grind. I'm going to be posting a ton more videos here on my channel over these next couple of days. So if you guys have yet to do so, be sure to drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new. With all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be sure to catch you guys later.